morning, class. Good morning, Good morning, Miss Keisha. And welcome to the French Showcase, where you will be introducing your friends and what they did for work. We we'll start off with Isabella and her mom. Hi, everybody. This is my mom. Hi. And she's a nurse. She works in Oakland Hospital, and I want to be like her one day. Hi guys, this is my dad. His name is Han and, uh, and he's a chef and I want to be like him. Hi, these are my parents. They both work at Auckland Hospital. When I grew up, I want to be like one one day. Welcome to Parent Showcase 2019, where you will be introducing your parents to us. And we'll start off with John. Uh, hi guys, my name is John and uh, these are my parents. Uh, they're both doctors and they both work in Auckland Hospital and I want to grow up and I want to be a doctor just like them. Uh, hello everybody, um, my name is John and as you can see here is the work family. Uh, this is my family tree and as you can see here is my uncle and in the middle at the very top is my great grandpa and on the other side is my great grandma and oh, this is my great aunt and that's my great uncle and that's my auntie and there's one thing they all have in common is that they're all doctors <clears throat> oh that's great john what do you want to be when you grow up um i want to be a rugby player i just want to change up um my family out of all professions, why do you pick rugby? Uh, when I look at rugby, it's just something that I enjoy and something that's fun for me. Is there any reason you don't want to become like any of your ancestors? Uh, I just want to change up my family and... Thank you, John, for sharing your presentation of the Wick family. It was fun. Honestly. I went to school with my Please. friends, we went on the slide. Mm -hmm. nice. uh, John, yeah. why do you want to be a rugby player? A rugby player? A rugby player? Do you really want to talk about the city? You know the rugby player? You know they always get the injury? Yeah, that's why I want to be a rugby player. Yeah, that's why I want to be a rugby player. You know the rugby player? You know they always get the injury? You know, when you get injured, I'm going to be ashamed of you. You know, I'm, if you come, to my, you numbers, need to be ashamed you come of to my hospital, I I'm going to ignore you. You know I, your uncle, he tried to play rugby? Look at him now. Cause he was Enough! Sick. See, he can't even move. Everyone out now. Gee, why do you want to be a rugby player for? Your dad's right, John. Your presentation today was a disaster. We didn't like it. It was just not, it's not what we want you to be. We wanted you to follow our footsteps and become a doctor. Who taught you to play rugby? Because if I remember, me and your mum, we always taught you to be a doctor. You know, from a little age, you say you want to be a doctor, be a doctor, and now you want to change. I, what do you want to I change for? I make my own decisions. You know, your grandparents, back then, they were they had to be doctors to help the family. Them. See, they helped the family to where we are now. I can also help the family. You know, you be the doctor to get the good money and provide for your family. But I can also get good money from being a rugby player. Don't talk back to me. Don't, don't talk back to me. You, you have to listen to what I say. You're still under my roof. You still wear the clothes I buy you with oh, yeah. the money from the doctors. Oh yeah, you know what? I'll just find another roof to be under. I'm gonna leave this house and never come back. Hey, come no, back. Come back just slap my table. Come I don't care because I'm not gonna be here anymore. Come back. I'll be leaving this house. Uh, Grandpa, I would like to talk about um what happened a few nights ago. Uh, I'd like you just to give me some advice on what I should do because I feel like talking to them. John, that your father was angry about the decision that you made. Wants you to be a, become a doctor like him. That's what I did. Tell him to follow my footsteps, but I know that way that I did him, that's not right. I know probably that that's the talents that gave it to you by our Heavenly Father. I support you and I need to talk we need to talk to your father about your decision it's good to be here my son and grandson son I know that you follow my footsteps 
and that's why we make a decision for your son to become a doctor. Because that's what I do to you. And I apologize to you for that because I know now parents had to be a little bit listen to their children. And I apologize for you. Now it's come to your son. And I hope that your father will make a decision on his behalf. <clears throat> you know, John, you know, you, me and your mom, we only wish the best for you, you know? But you know, when uh, I hear the, when you say you want to be a rugby player, you know, that's not going to accord what me and your mom teach you. But we can only do is just support you in, uh, in what you want to become. Oh uh, yeah. I'm very sorry for you, John. I, <clears throat> I'm sorry to both of you, especially John. Um, the way we handled the situation was not the best. We were just in shock. Like, but um, as your father said, we will support you um, in every decision that you make um, in your life. And we just hope that you're happy in anything that you do. I'd like to apologize to um, mom and dad um, for what I did. And I'm sorry for what happened that night, Grandpa. And I'd like to thank you for um, giving me the advice on what I should do. And Give me a hand. <coughs> the capacity crowd of 100. <laughs> oh, what a try that is! Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 yeah.